Greetings, pet lovers. Bridget here with First Street Pets. And today we're going to talk about our pet microchips, GPS. I've talked a lot about microchipping on this channel because I was around back in the 90s when it first came out for pets, and we just thought it was the holy grail. No pet would ever get lost again. Well, unfortunately now, almost 30 years later, it hasn't quite worked out that way, Although it is a great tool for getting lost pets back home, it's not a perfect system. One of the issues is that should your dog or cat become lost, someone has to find them in order to access that chip. They have to be found and taken to a better shelter and scanned before you even know what that chip number is. But what if you don't know where your pet is? What if you can't find them and neither can anyone else? How can they get back home? Is there a way to remotely locate them? And that leads to the next logical question, which many people ask, can a pet microchip contain GPS? Unfortunately, the short answer is no, but don't click away just yet. Let's talk about this a little bit. Let's talk about why and what the possibilities are. Now we have GPS in all sorts of small devices. We have it in the navigation devices in our vehicles. We have devices that we can take hiking that'll help us find our way around in the woods. We have it on our phones. We can use it to navigate while we're driving or to locate a lost phone. So why can't we use it to find a lost pet? The most important consideration here is the power source. GPS requires power. Your phone, your devices for your car or for hiking, they all have batteries that need to be recharged. Now, today's phones and devices are longer lasting with the batteries, but they still need to be plugged in every night or at least every couple of days, especially if you're using battery draining apps like navigation. Unfortunately, you can't do that with a microchip because you can't plug in your dog. Another factor is the signal given off by a microchip. It is a radio frequency signal known as a passive transponder. What that means is that it's only giving off a signal when paired with the scanner. It isn't constantly giving off any kind of a signal by itself. It's like an antenna. When the scanner comes in a close proximity, it gives off a signal, which is just a code number that's then tracked to the pet owner's information. It does not have the ability to give out a consistent signal as a GPS device does in order to connect with the global positioning satellites, which are the way that you find the location of your car, your phone, or anything else with GPS on it. Since a microchip doesn't give off any signal like that, it can't be used for location. So the next logical question is, if it's not possible today, is it possible in the future? And I guess the answer is maybe we have limitations today that we may not have in the future. With the primary concern being the size of devices and the power source, the ability to give off the signal, the first consideration would be in the future, will we have some kind of a power source that's unknown to us today or perhaps that exists but isn't produced commercially or isn't something affordable enough for everyone to have? That would be the number one consideration. Could some kind of a battery be miniaturized enough to be implanted like a microchip, which is no bigger than a grain of rice, and could it last for years? Now, I tried to think of something like that, and I thought of the human pacemaker, which is implanted surgically inside of a person's chest. It does have batteries, and according to my research, they can last for five or more years at a time. So this is possible, but if you think of the pacemaker, it performs a different function from a GPS device, requires a lot less consistent power, and it does need to be implanted surgically. So it's a lot more invasive procedure than a microchip, which is simply injected through a needle. Also, when the batteries need to be changed on a pacemaker, that's also done surgically. So at least we know this is somewhat possible, but not feasible in terms of a location device for a pet. 
Good news though, there are some GPS devices currently available on the market for pets and apparently they work pretty well. I've talked to some friends who use them and they've given them good reviews. I will link them in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Now these devices are worn on a collar. They can be used for cats, but they're primarily used for dogs. And they seem to be especially helpful for folks who have a, a large rural property that it isn't feasible to fence the whole thing off, or if your dog is an escape artist and they like to get out. So how these products work, they do have to be charged just like GPS on your phone, although some of them claim that the battery can last for up to a week. So I intend to buy some of these collars and do a real life comparison for a future video and article. So stay tuned for that because I want to see how well they work for myself. You download an app on your phone and on that you can set a perimeter on a map. And if your dog goes past that perimeter, you will be pinged. So you will know that they have gotten off the property or out of the safe area that you have set for them. And from there, as long as the battery's working and you have a signal, you can locate your lost dog. Now the battery does have to be charged and from what I understand they work off of a cell signal. So they do have to have some kind of a connection. I'm not sure if they would work in a remote area without cellular coverage. I'm going to find that out, as I said, for a future video. They do mostly have a monthly subscription, but it seems to be inexpensive, less than $10 a month, which is worth it if this is a problem for you and your dog. GPS or not, all pets should be microchipped and registered, and I will link my other video in the description, how to register your pet's microchip in five minutes. Although the chip won't help with location, it does provide your information and a ticket home for your lost pet if they are brought to a shelter. I hope this is helpful for you. I would love to hear about your experiences with GPS devices or microchips or what you would hope to see in the future. Thank you for watching.